up. And while that's brewing, I'm also going to make a bagel. A little crispy on a couple sides, but... Hi guys, it's me, Jess Marie. Welcome, welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to a work week in my life. Full-time Orange Tree Fitness Coach, part-time sales associate, and currently 37 weeks pregnant. Today's Monday, March 4th. It is 9.13 and I'm off today. I don't have to work the desk or coach, so I plan on making today a nice, productive start to the week. I say that because our house is quite a mess from the weekend. There's a ton of stuff on the table. Most of it is baby stuff that I just have to take to the baby's room and I just have to get caught up on laundry and vacuum the floors and all that. Just the basic stuff I usually do on Mondays to get a start on the week. But yeah, 37 weeks pregnant. I have two weeks left and then I am on maternity leave, which is crazy. So going over my planner for the next two weeks, I'm of course gonna squeeze in my last little bit of work and also take time for some self-care. I know due dates aren't legit unless you get induced or whatever and I don't plan on getting induced, but I'm counting on the 24th the baby actually coming or at least around then because I might squeeze in two last shifts at the desk depending on how I feel but yeah the next two weeks are going to be full of self-care not really a whole lot I just want to get my nails done get my hair cut and I'm getting a massage tomorrow which I'm so excited about I also want to pack our hospital bag this week that way everything is ready because apparently at 37 weeks I think the baby is considered full term so realistically he could come at any point which is terrifying to think about but I just want to get the bag ready that way we don't have to stress about it and it's kind of one of those things that are on the back of my head that I need to do still so might do that today after I clean up so yeah rundown of the week today is gonna be a nice productive house day because I don't have to work tomorrow I do have to work the desk from 4 30 to 10 and then I'm getting a massage at 11 and then I go to the doctors at 1 30 after that I just plan on sleeping the day away Wednesday I coach the morning four classes after that plan on sleeping and just pretty much relaxing also because I'll be tired Thursday Thursday, I just work the desk in the morning. Not sure what I'm gonna do that night, afternoon. And then Friday, I just work the two afternoon classes. And then Saturday, Sunday, I work the morning classes. And also Justin has a football game, possibly basketball game that Sunday. I might get my hair cut today. That way, that's one of the things off my list that I don't have to think about. Thought about getting my hair cut next Monday and then getting my nails done the Monday after that. But I don't wanna push everything too close to the actual due date because what if baby comes early and just throws off my whole plans. I don't know. I might get my hair cut today because I need to wash my hair. It's a hot mess right now. But yeah, I'll figure it out. Just gonna sit, finish up my bagel. I also made some red raspberry leaf tea and I need to make more of it. I showed how I made it in my last video, but I might just show you how I make it again in just a second. I'm boiling the water now. And I'm gonna start looking at my video from last week that I need to post. And yeah, then we'll get a start to this day. If you're not already, be sure you subscribe down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this work week in my life. Tea is done. So now I'm just gonna take this lid off let these drain and this is the pitcher i've been using so i'm just going to pour this tea in here and i've been mixing this crayon pineapple juice with it so i'll pour a bit of this in there and then just top it off with water and that's how i make the tea fill it up to there with the juice and i'll just fill the rest with water probably put more juice in there than last time but okay mix it up Let's put the lid on and put it back in the fridge and that is how i make my red raspberry leaf tea mixture and i've been trying to drink at least a cup a big cup of it every single day because apparently it helps with strengthening your uterus which will help with labor and delivery apparently now i'm gonna get started with the house chores so start with laundry and then i'll just vacuum that's the main stuff i have to do really and then all the baby stuff
vacuuming is done. Now I just have all this baby stuff that has to go to the baby's room. Actually, some of it will have to stay out here. Like these bottles, take them all out of the wrapper. And this big box right here is all kitchen stuff really besides a couple pacifiers. All these bibs and towels I'll have to wash. And a member at Orange Theory's mom made this blanket for us. So freaking cute. And they also got us some diapers. I wouldn't even see this in there. That's adorable. <laughs> That is so cute. It is now 12.07. I just got to Great Clips because I'm gonna get my hair cut. I always come to Great Clips only because it's literally $20 to get a haircut and that's all I need is just a haircut. So I was just telling my sister how after I do just a couple things, I end up getting so tired and that's truly how I'm feeling right now. So after I get my haircut, I'm going home, taking a nice shower, washing my hair because they don't wash your hair here. And then I plan on getting in bed and watching a movie. I really wanna watch Grown Ups 2 because I tried watching it last week and falling asleep so we'll see if I end up falling asleep during it today good morning vlog it is now Tuesday it's 4 24 I just got to one of the studios I work at to work the desk from 4 30 to 10 then I'm gonna leave here go straight to my massage and I'm so excited and then after my massage I should have time to go home quickly shower because I feel like I'll be oily and nasty and then go to my doctor's appointment which I'm pretty excited for my doctor's appointment today because I think they're gonna check me to see if I'm dilated at all. And at first, it really made me nervous. And I kept joking that I was gonna say I didn't want them to check, but now I'm curious. So every time I get to the desk, if you've seen any of my previous work in my life, you know exactly what I do. I just sign in to the computers, to our little mind body app, to send the morning report on my iPad, just a rundown of the day to see if there's any intros, birthdays, anything to celebrate. And then I'll sign in to OT Beat, which is what they run the class off of. And yeah, just get this day started. I just work the desk on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and most of the time I've had to coach Tuesday and Thursday nights, but tonight I don't because I asked off, and Thursday I don't because I just don't but next week i will have to double up one of the days not both which is good but low-key counting down the days to when i don't have to wake up at 3 30 though because waking up this morning was a struggle i think it was just because i was so tired when i went to bed but i did drink a good bit of water around dinner time and so it's like anytime i was about to fall asleep i had to wake up to use the bathroom anyway every time i get to the desk do the same thing send the morning report log into all the computers like i was saying and then at this studio we assign everyone their stations based on how they pre-book in the app so i'll give everyone their station assignments and then just help with check-ins all things and then i'll have a cleaning list to do i'll have papers to scan but it doesn't look like i have any to scan today and then i have a cleaning list to do that changes tuesday and thursday and at eight o'clock i can start making calls and calls we just try to call a bunch of leads to get them booked for their first class or a welcome back class or their second class we just try to get some new people in here so hopefully today's gonna be a good day got my red raspberry tea of course got some water just ate a bagel on the way here and feeling good for sending the report i just copy the report from the day before then i will just change all the dates the numbers everything and get it sent station assignments set it there for them to see when they come in It is now 10.47. I just got to the place where my massage is, I think. I'm about to get out of my car and make sure I'm in the right spot, but the desk went so good. I made two premiere sales, so I'm feeling really happy, and I'm just feeling excited to get my massage. I'm not really sure what to expect. I've had one massage before in my entire life, but this is a prenatal massage, so I don't really know if I'm gonna be on my back, if I'm gonna be on my side. I don't really know, but I'm excited. I know it's gonna feel good. It's an entire hour, so updates come on how it feels. Let's go see if I'm in the right spot. Definitely almost fell asleep. She had me start on my left side and I had a pillow in between my legs and to rest on my arm. Then halfway through, she had me flip to my right side and my right side is where I always take a nap on. So I really almost fell asleep. Right when I was about to fall asleep is when it was time for the massage to be over. So it feels so good. But now it's 12.05. I'm gonna run to my house real quick. I don't really need a shower because she just used like a lotion and I feel a little greasy, but not too bad. But still gonna run home, let the dogs out, hang out for a second and then we will go to my doctor's appointment. Luckily, it'll be another quick appointment and then I can go home and take a nap because, wow, I'm tired now. Uh, it's 
It is now 1.10. I just got to the hospital where my doctor's appointment is at. My appointment's at 1.30, but I got here a little early just because I went home, let the dogs out, and then just left and decided to get Chick-fil-A for lunch because I had a gift card. So my lunch today only cost $3. But that third trimester hunger was really kicking in because I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich, fries, and mac and cheese. And I've already eaten my fries and my mac and cheese. And I'm about to eat my sandwich right now. And of course, to go with it, Chick-fil-A sauce and a sweet tea. I was really just craving the sweet tea, but as soon as I got on the drive-thru, I knew just a sandwich and fries weren't gonna fill me up. So it's freaking delicious. And I know my sandwich is about to be delicious too. Oh yeah. So good. But a little more about my massage. I am pretty sure I fell asleep because I was thinking about it on the way home and the last little bit, I think I blacked it out. And it was because I was asleep, I'm pretty sure. I just don't remember what happened the last little bit, but she did my hands, my feet, my arms, my shoulders, my back. Like I said, I started off on my left side and I was there for half of it. And then she had me flip over and go to my right side. And the entire time the baby was kicking me in my ribs. And then when I flipped over to my right side, that is when I think the baby went to my bladder because I really had to use the bathroom but I was not about to get up in the middle of my massage to use the bathroom so I just held it till the very end but it was very nice very glad I got it I really want another massage already I feel like I need a massage every single week now but she did ask me in the beginning if I wanted a deeper massage or a lighter massage and I said lighter but I should have said deeper only because I just wish she got in there a little more and I could have asked for it but I just felt a little weird asking for her to go you know and I just kept comparing it to the one and only other massage I've gotten and in that massage she really got in there like even used her elbows but I guess because it's a prenatal massage there's certain things you can't do but she was able to get all over my back which was really nice I was kind of wondering how she was gonna do that but the vibes in the room very nice had a giant salt rock lamp she's playing two different sounds she was playing ocean waves and then it's like a light musical melody thing and it reminded me of St. Lucia where we went for our honeymoon and I so badly want to go back or just go somewhere trying Tropical. St. Lucia was incredible and I just in my head I was back in St. Lucia. I'm gonna finish up the sandwich I've been holding this entire time and then we'll go in for my appointment. Already know first things first, being a cop. Got the straps. Appointment is done. It is 2.21. Finally ready to go home and stay home. Cervical check was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it was definitely very, very uncomfortable. Baby is head down. She felt the head when she stuck her finger in there. I am one to two centimeters dilated, 50% effaced, which I'm still kind of confused what that means. She said when I'm ready to go into labor, I'll probably be about 80%. I have a mid position cervix and it's soft. Not really sure what that means, but she made it sound like it was good. So <laughs> happy with that. And of course the one day I don't record the heartbeat because I've been trying to do that at every single appointment. It was so cute just because she kept saying how he's a happy baby and she's kind kept saying things like, oh, that was a skip in his heartbeat. He must be really happy or something. I don't know, it was really cute. But yeah, now time to go. My next appointment is on Tuesday and I guess the same thing will happen. They'll check to see if I'm dilated anymore. And yeah, she said my weight gain's good. She asked if I've been working out still and I told her no, but she said as long as I've been walking a lot, which I have been because of work, then that's perfect. And she said I look good and yeah, everything is good. Happy Wednesday, it's 4.46. Just got to the studio and I'm getting set up for my classes. All I have to do is turn on the rowers and that's pretty much it. I've already gone over the DVA and the template and I picked a playlist for this class. Coaching four classes this morning, 5 a.m., 6.15, 7.30, and 8.45. 5 a.m. is the strength and tread 50, so it'll be super chill. I'm really excited because it'll give me more time to wake up, more time with members to kind of perfect form, you know, feeling pretty good. I slept pretty good even though I did take a short little nap yesterday for like an hour. Just some batteries in the battery or in the mic pack, sticking it on my pants. I think one once they come in and start warming up, I'll turn on the rowers. Their warm up is a dynamic warm up, so they just do everything at their own pace for the first five minutes. And yeah, and this little green thing, keep two mic puffs, some extra rings, and an earplug. Still have to figure out what playlist I'm gonna use for my next three classes, but figure that out last minute. After this class, I'll have a little extra time than I normally do in between classes. Let me check, 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 check. Yeah, I just have to go out and get the cards for this tread class and we will get this day started. Got coffee, my red raspberry tea, and my water. And it's a nice rainy day today and I love the rain. So once I leave here, I'm gonna go home and just nap and have a nice chill day. It is now 4.12. As soon as I got home from work, I of course took a nice nap, but I got up about 1.30, 2 o'clock-ish and I've been sitting in this exact spot pretty much ever since. I was working on editing my last week's video and uploading 
uploading it and I'm currently doing that now still. But I also posted on my coach's Instagram, one, two, three, four, five pictures because today there were so many celebrations to celebrate and I just love posting them on my coach's Instagram. That way the members feel celebrated. So yeah, today was the seventh birthday of the studio I coach at. So I posted about that. It was two people's birthdays and then two people had milestones, an 800th class and a 250th class. A very nice morning. Classes went really good. I loved coaching tread and strength first. It just gave me time to wake up, gave my voice some time to wake up. And I honestly wasn't that achy when I left. And lately, the further I get along in pregnancy, after the 845 class, if I coach four classes, I am done. Like my body hurts so bad. And today it just gave me time to, as I guess because also during a regular class, I have so much energy to give and I'm bouncing off the walls and that I guess takes a toll on my body. But I also messaged one of my coworkers, but she recently had a baby and I was just kind of texting her about what I should bring to the hospital because I think I'm about to finally pack my hospital bag. I've been saying I was going to for so long and now I'm just gonna do it. So this just uploaded. So now I'm just going to finalize my list because over the past few days I've been reading Reddit threads and a Facebook group, just seeing kind of what I need to pack to the hospital because I don't wanna overpack, but I also, just want to have everything that I feel like I'll need. So yeah, going over my list for the hospital, I have a list for me and a list for the baby. I think I'm just going to do the baby stuff right now and my stuff. I guess I should do that today too because I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. I do need to order some nursing bras. That is what my coworker told me I should get and that's really all she said that she brought to the hospital. So I just need to order some of those and then I guess once I get those, I can pack my hospital bag or... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, but yeah, going over the list that I have for the baby, just a few things and obviously things might change, but I'll just pack all of this and I think the diaper bag, but I have Boppy for breastfeeding. A lot of people on Reddit said I should bring that to make breastfeeding a lot easier and I plan on trying to breastfeed. A blanket, I have a question mark by because I don't really know if that's necessary besides for taking pictures and I guess taking him to the car if it happens to be cold. Milestone plates just to take pictures of or with in the hospital. Pacifiers, I already have like three or four packed in the diaper bag just in case he doesn't like a certain brand. I have socks and a hat. Some people said it wasn't necessary because the socks just fall off and I plan on just bringing sleepers. So actually I'm just gonna take socks off because I'm just gonna bring his sleepers and they'll have little feet covers. I'll still bring a hat though, just in case he doesn't have hair. <laughs> I don't know. I have two swaddles, a blanket and a Velcro swaddle just to try out both. I have no idea how to swaddle with either one, but I know the Velcro swaddle will be a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna bring both and one of our blanket swaddles is really cute. It says like love or I love you all over it. And I think that'd be really cute for a picture. So I'm gonna bring that one. Then I have three sleepers on here, two in a newborn size and one in a zero to three month, just in case he happens to come out and be a really big baby. But I have three different ones on there because people said they could spit up or get all gross on their sleepers. So I'll just bring three. And then I do have a going home outfit on here. I honestly don't really know what I'm gonna bring him home in. I keep seeing a lot of people say they just bring him home or bring their baby home in a sleeper. So I might just do that. There's not an outfit in my head that I'm like, oh, I need to take a picture of him in this in the hospital. So I might just bring a sleeper. I don't know, but I'm gonna go in the baby's room and figure this all out and just pack it all in a diaper bag. I also don't know if I should bring diapers and wipes because I know the hospital will give me all of that, but I don't know if I should just bring my own just in case. I don't think I'm going to. Because that's in the diaper bag right now, but I'm just going to take it out. Welcome to the baby room. I feel like I show it in every video now, but in case you haven't seen it, this is what our baby nursery looks like. The dogs love the carpet. But update from, if you have seen it before, I just got this mirror because we have that big circle one there, but that is so heavy and I really want to put it right here and I know people say it's kind of dangerous to put it over the changing table or the crib or anything but this one is so much lighter so I'm gonna use that. Yeah I'm just gonna get to packing the bag. This is our diaper bag. I just saw this on TikTok I'm pretty sure and was obsessed with it because it also comes with a changing pad. This is the changing pad that I'm just gonna leave in there but it also comes with this little mini bag so if I don't feel like taking this giant thing I can just bring this little bag instead, which I thought was clutch because you get two bags in one. So very grateful for that. And before I get to packing, I wanted to show you what another member at Orange Theory got me. She gave me this this morning and I was just thinking how I wanted to get more gym-ish onesies only
only because I think they're so cute and so funny. And one of our friends actually got us this little baby toy. I don't know if I'll be able to find it because they're just a bunch of toys. They're in here. But it's this little gym set, like a little mini shaker bottle, little mini dumbbell, and it's just so cute. And like I was saying in my last video, when we have dry try in April, I want to bring my little baby, depending on how scared I am of germs because obviously newborns can get very sick and so I don't know if I'm gonna want to take him to like a gym like that but I do want to bring him to Orange Theory eventually and I just want him to be in some little fitness onesie so I'm very excited about it. I'm just gonna take everything out what I have in here because I have no idea. See there's so much room in here. That's the changing pad. So many of these little pockets and I just love how it opens like this and there is zipper here where I have the little plates already this one says we are waiting for you this one just says hello world just take a little picture with and then in here i just have the pacifiers i'm pretty sure yeah all the pacifiers and that is it i think i am gonna bring a blanket just because i don't know if i want to bring this one with little elephants and hot air balloons or this one that has little baby animals you can't really see them i don't know which one i want to bring running into a tiny bit of a problem these are all the sleepers we have and we don't have a single newborn sleeper just zero to three months so really wanted to bring these but they're both zero to three months so i think i'll bring one i'll just bring this one since it already has little feet and hand thing but then these are the two swaddles i'll bring i don't know if this is just a regular blanket or a swaddle but i googled it and it said you can use one of these just regular blankets when they're newborn because they're not strong enough to get out of it so i'm gonna bring both and then these are the newborn outfits i could bring justin's mom got us this which is super cute and says hi i'm new here and this is the one that the member got us but if i bring one of these it doesn't have any to cover the toes or the hands so i thought about bringing this one and then just bringing a hat socks and mittens but i feel like he's gonna be too tiny to even keep those on so i I might bring this one but also this isn't a onesie whereas this one is so if i bring this I might bring this just have but does he need a onesie i have no idea this is the closet situation these are all the newborn clothes he has just this little section right here and lots of just these onesies this is also an outfit i could bring my grandma got it just a little jacket comes with a onesie super cute and these are little pants has a little bear on the butt but i really just want to bring like a sleeper i just feel like that'll be so much easier here's my list tomorrow i'm gonna try to go buy more sleepers that way i have at least what i wanted with two newborn sleepers in the zero to three month covering the feet but it's the blanket i'm gonna bring two swaddles like i said this one and then these are all the things that i'm gonna bring this just because it's a newborn onesie and if anything i can just put him in this and put him in a swaddle i think yeah we'll just see how that works i'm just gonna pack all of this in here here put the blanket at the bottom because i only think i'm gonna need this but just in case and clothes will go at the bottom the hat mittens and socks i'll stick in one of the side pockets not much room in here as i'm seeing but maybe this will be fine just playing around with packing stuff for me this is what i got two pairs of pajamas this one is kind of like a dress this is pants and a shirt but they both button down the front which is i know what they want for you to breastfeed two bras a regular comfy bra and then this is a nursing bra i didn't know i had that i accidentally ordered a long time ago not realizing i'm still gonna order some more two socks a regular pair and a fuzzy pair two pairs of pants pair of leggings and a just pair of shorts just a t-shirt of course my going home outfit would be my orca shirt just because i love orcas and then my sweatshirt that says mom and my slides that way i can also wear them in the shower they're nice and easy to take off just throw anywhere but yeah this is what i'm gonna pack using this vera bradley tote bag that i've had for forever i'd honestly rather use my suitcase but i'm pretty sure it's in the attic so i'll wait for justin to get home to get that unless i just decide to use this but i'm gonna go ahead and pack everything in here the only thing i'm missing as you saw on my list are just things that i can grab last minute like a blanket toiletries all the things then i'll just set this right here that way everything is ready to go if we need it this i'll put in my bag also this is a hospital gown that i bought that way i don't have to wear the hospital's itchy one car seat will maybe go in my car this weekend and then i'm also going to pack this fan it's for a stroller but i've seen a lot of people bring it to the hospital saying that it gets hot and you can just kind of wrap it around the bed so i'll bring that and now i'm feeling motivated to start some laundry just to wash a couple blankets we have because i want to pack one of my own little throw blankets just in case i do get cold in there and i just want it to be nice and clean so i'm gonna wash those good morning vlog happy thursday 
It is 4.23. Just got to the desk to work until 10, of course. Just sign me in to all the computers to send the morning reports. And then I will, of course, assign everyone their stations. I have a different cleaning list to do today. Really just front desk, organizing it, cleaning it. And yeah, same thing as Tuesday. But I don't have to coach tonight. I don't think I coached Tuesday night either. But next week, one of the days, Tuesday and Thursday, I do have to coach at night. So I'll pull the all day situation one more time and I'm off. But feeling pretty good this morning. A little achy, but not too bad. And I kind of struggled to fall asleep. But I was actually pretty comfortable, which it switches every night. Like one night, I'll be super uncomfortable throughout the night or like I can't get comfortable. Other nights, I sleep really well. So can't complain there. But yeah, I think today is going to be a good day. When I leave here, I have to go to the grocery store. I think I've already been to the grocery store this week, but I need to go back because there are a few things that I'm craving and just a few things that I want us to have for the weekend. So I'll do that. Then I'll go home. Maybe make more raspberry tea because this is my last little bit right here. Then I'll take a nap and I have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So we shall see. Send the report. Of course, copy the one from yesterday and then just change all of the numbers. Today's also the 12 minute trek for distance benchmark. So I'm gonna get the whiteboard out and make a little board just in case people wanna take a picture with it. But now I'm gonna do station assignments. This morning's class has 25 people in it. So it's a few and there's also a few people we usually add in late. So I'm gonna try to make this as even as possible. That way it's not like the treads are full, the rows are halfway full and the floor has barely anybody on it because usually that's how it is. I just googled how to do a stick figure for my board 12 minute tread for distance. It is now 2.22. Just woke up from two naps. I got home from the desk at 11. I was so tired. I think it's because I made coffee this morning and so it had me so awake and then by the time I got home I just ended up hitting a crash. So I took a nap, woke up at 1.30. That's the time my body has been waking me up for my naps which I'm really happy about because I don't sleep the day away or I don't feel like I do. But then I just woke up, felt so tired, ended up falling back asleep for about another hour and yeah. Now I'm about to go to the store so I got my bags ready and it is just such a beautiful day. So I'm excited to be out in the sunshine. The UV is only a four but I think once I get back from the store, I'm gonna spend some time in the sun. Really wish we could cut our grass so it would be the perfect day to do it. But one, we still can't get our lawnmower to start. We have to find the battery charger that we have somewhere. Two, because it rained so much the other day, there's no way we could. Our grass is so wet. So, gonna go grab these random things from the store, come home, and enjoy the sun. Good morning, Jack. Say good morning, vlog. <laughs> Good morning vlog. It's Friday morning, 9.22. I finally got out of bed. I was up at 6.30 to let the dogs out and I was not sleeping well at all. I just kept waking up in the middle of the night having the weirdest dreams. But once I let them out, I went back to sleep. Kept falling asleep, waking up, up until right now. So finally feel a little refreshed even though I kept waking up and going back to sleep. But getting up, starting my day, just made some coffee. The plan of attack for today is to just get the house straightened up. Justin's coming home from being out of town for the week. Last week was supposed to be his last last week working out of town but then they switched it and now this week was so very excited but I'm just gonna empty the dishwasher put the new dishes in there get all the laundry sorted clean our sheets so he comes home to nice fresh sheets and I kind of want to take Jack to get his nails cut even though he hates his feet being touched that's why I can't do them myself but he is not gonna be happy with me so we'll see if I do that today and then I do have to coach two classes tonight at 3 15 and 4 30 and I'm pretty excited because the 4 30 class is a tornado and I've been talking about tornadoes lately I used to hate coaching them and lately they've been pretty fun. So, and then the 315 class is just the tread 50, strength 50. So, pretty chill day as all my days are these days. But yeah, gonna get this house straightened up and listen to a podcast. Also, we're Maybe when they 
It is now 6.30. I just finished coaching my two classes, which were a little crazy only because the second class where I had the tornado, I had four intros and they got there late. And usually we like them getting early. That way we can just kind of break everything down. But luckily it was a small class. So I was able to work with them and kind of explain things as we go. They're coming back for second class next week. So hopefully we get them to sign up. But I also am leaving Planet Fitness because I finally canceled my Planet Fitness membership. I just haven't been coming at all. And I ended up downgrading my membership a while ago. So I was only paying $10 a month, but being out of work for a while and knowing I'm not gonna come to Planet Fitness at all the first little bit of having a baby, I just need to cancel it anyway. So once I'm ready to get a new gym membership, whenever I want to, I'll probably find one that I can bring my baby to. Cause there are a few around my house that has the little daycare while you work out. So really sad to be leaving this place because this is where I started my fitness journey. So kind of sad, but I'm gonna end this video here because once I go home, I'm just gonna find something for dinner and I coach tomorrow morning and tomorrow's template looks crazy just because everything looks timed together and those are always a mess. So I wanna make sure I am well rested. So yeah, if you're already, be sure you subscribe down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this work week in my life.